Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I'm going to make a birthday card for a friend at work using my Big Shot and my retiring flower garden embossing folder. When I saw the list of retiring products this last week, I was really surprised to see this one on there because it's a very unusual embossing folder and it makes such beautiful cards. So I thought, well, to honor one of my favorite embossing folders, I'd use it today. My card base is Whisper White, eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it at the four and a quarter mark and that's going to be the base for my card. I'm gonna set that aside for now because I'm going to use a second piece of Whisper White cardstock and my embossing folder to emboss a layer for the front of my card. There we go. So I have tucked my Whisper White cardstock inside the folder. I'm going to bring in my Big Shot. I have it on tab two. I have my bottom standard cutting pad. I'm going to put the embossing folder on the platform with the top standard cutting pad and I'm going to run it through and emboss that beautiful flower image on the Whisper White cardstock. There we go. I hope you can see it. It's beautiful. Now, it's fairly plain, however, so I'm going to bring in two ink pads and I have a package of sponge daubers. The sponge daubers are being reconfigured, but right now they're still available in this kind of package and I think you get 12 daubers in a pack. And so I've taken two of them. You slip the dauber on the end of your finger and then you daub into the ink and you can use it to color you, any image that you want really. So I've chosen Coastal Cabana and I'm going to use the paint palette that I've created inside the lid and all you do is squeeze the pad together before you open it. You pick up some of the color and then you just daub it where you want it to be which for me would be in the center of each of the flowers. There we go, so you can add more color. I would start light and then work your way darker. You can also kind of smear the color out. And of course the flowers pick up the color quite beautifully because it's a raised image already. So I'm gonna just push that aside for right now and I'm gonna bring in a second color which is pistachio pudding. Again, I'm going to create an ink palette for that and I'm going to use a second sponge dauber. If you have some kind of labeling system it might be nice to um, create a label around for around the outside of the sponge dauber so you know what color. You can only dedicate one color for each dauber so it's nice to have actually a couple of packages of the daubers and I'll add a little bit more green there. A little bit of green on the leaves. And I think I'm quite satisfied with that. I'm going to leave my Coastal Cabana open because I'm going to use it in a minute to create a phrase for the front of my card. But there we go. It's really pretty. And then to pick up on the Coastal Cabana color, I have a, a layer for underneath that's about one-eighth of an inch larger around the outside. And so I'm going to use my snail adhesive. Add some pieces of snail and then layer this. Okay, so I have my Coastal Cabana around the outside and then I'm going to bring in my card front and I'm going to adhere this to the front of my card now using snail adhesive 
Or if I wanted some lift, I could use some Stampin' Dimensionals, but for this card, I want it nice and flat. I'm going to adhere that on like so. And then the last thing I want to do is create a phrase. And since this is a birthday card, I'm going to use my Bring On The Cake stamp set. Unfortunately, this is one of the stamp sets that's retiring, and I hope you realize that every product that's on the retiring list is as supplies last, and they're flying off the shelves. I think I wrote yesterday on my Facebook business page that 57 stamp sets are already gone forever. But I've chosen the birthday wishes. Let me show you here. I've chosen the birthday wishes because I think the font is quite fancy, which matches sort of the, the card, the flower garden image. I'm going to ink up the birthday wishes, stamp it down, and then I have a second layer of Coastal Cabana, and so I'm going to adhere that on. I'm finished with my ink right now. Flip that over, add some snail adhesive to the back, adhere that down like that, and then, let's see, where do I want to put it? I think I'll put it down towards the bottom of the card so I can still see the flowers up towards the top. And again, I'm just going to use snail adhesive. Slide it over a little bit more. It's a little bit crooked. And there we go. A really pretty and very easy to make birthday card using the flower garden embossing folder that is on the retiring list and the Bring On This Cake stamp set that's also on the retiring list. For a complete listing of the supplies I used and the measurements for the cardstock layers, please hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, you can look through lots of other sample ideas. I try and post something unique every day. You can place an order for the products I used to make this card. You can check out um, my online clubs, or don't forget to subscribe to my customer newsletters. I send out three newsletters a month, and you can choose which ones you'd like to receive. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.